And now, Wibbit's 2020 Local News First with WIBT News Director Rick Brancadora. Well, Atlantic City is working toward trying to improve salaries and wages for some of its communication workers and others in the city employee. That according to Toro Amadine, the business administrator. She says there's a lot more going on and people need to know that Atlantic City is trying to work to resolve it, especially with its employees. In those specific titles, uh, the class two officers, we, we typically had one line for all of them. What we have here is year one, year two, year three and beyond. It's an, it represents an increase to the salary. Well, it's an order that came late yesterday as Superior Court Judge Michael Blee ordering the state to make an immediate payment of $2.36 million to Atlantic County. More substantial future payments in a decision that Atlantic County Executive Dennis Levinson has pushed for. He said the pilot program has never been fair, and he says the attitude by the state stinks. And a bit of arrogantly also, the judge said, look, state of New Jersey, sit down with the county, sit down with Levinson and see if he can work something out. They never gave us the courtesy of even a phone call. Here in South Jersey, our weather is always changing. That's why Nor'easter Nick is always there. I'm there when it matters most. Anytime, anywhere. And on any screen, so you know how to prepare. Tracking severe storms with the most powerful technology, so you're ready no matter where you live. Delivering the most accurate weather forecast on air, online, and on social media. Putting local first around the clock. Nor'easter Nick, South Jersey's weatherman. This is the Philadelphia Radio Legend, reborn in the Jersey Shore. WIBG. 94.3 Atlantic City.